This video shows results of HDR Omni, a new omnidirectional vision sensor of high dynamic range. It captures in real time high dynamic range images thanks to its design uh, involving four mirrors and three neutral density filters. Put on a mobile robot, it can acquire outdoors in scenes of high radiance range, images of simultaneously various exposure. Superimposing these images and using uh, their exposure fusion leads to an HDR image, increasing significantly the dynamic range quality compared to low dynamic range images. In detail, for each of the nine considered scenes, and for uh, ideally chosen exposure time so that one of the four low dynamic range images uh, presents the best quality, we can see the ratios of the dynamic range quality of HDR images over each of the four low dynamic range images. Uh, highlighting these figures show the HDR image is always of better quality than the low dynamic range images. It also increases the number of detected features, here surf features, by 50%. And it also increases, compared to low dynamic range images, the number of matched features, 26% here more. It brings a lot as well to direct visual suffering, because uh, when starting from a uh, an initial pose uh, very far from the desired one for such kind of technique, some uh, local minimum uh, can appear. In these uh, examples, um, the initial error is about 2 meters. Using simply the four LDR images superimposed, uh, so without the neutral density filters, already allow to jump over the local minimum that stuck the single LDR image. Um, case on the left. However, the precision at convergence is rather limited, so in this case uh, the accuracy is maximum 4 cm. Conversely, using the HDR Omni, so with the neutral density filters, uh, allows to get similar behavior than just uh, superimposing the four LDR images, but with uh, more accuracy, so uh, in this case, almost divided by, the error is almost divided by two. In the second scene of even higher dynamic range, um, the single LDR image allowed to get close the um, desired pose, but with a limited accuracy, despite the error seemed nicely minimized in the image here. Still 14 centimeters uh, are uh, missing. Superimposing the four LDR images allowed to get slightly um, lower precision in this case, so 18 centimeters of final error. And as in the first scene, the HDR only allowed to get the best results, so the um, the minimum uh, final error in this uh, comparison, about uh, dividing by two the final error of uh, using just one LDR image. Finally, in the third scene, which is of even higher dynamic range, uh, using uh, only one earlier uh, image uh, for the visual serving, um, a lot to get close to the desired position, but still with a final error of 35.5 centimeters. And as in the two other scenes, uh, using the HDR only sensor allowed to um, um, reduce a lot uh, this uh, final error. In this case, the four LDR superimposed were not used uh, because they already did not bring a lot of uh, interesting things in Sen2. In addition to the university and research labs, 
This work was funded by the European Union program named Interreg in the frame of the ADAPT project. It is also co-funded by the Ministry of Research in France and by the Amiens Metropole City Council. Thanks for watching.